So, it's been a while since I did a video. The last video I made, I actually had to take down because the dealership called me and wasn't happy about some of the things that I said in the video. Basically, uh, if you've been following along, you know we were waiting on a C8 Z06, but of course, uh, there's just a select handful of people that are going to get them this year. Um, I got on the reserve or the uh, allocation list uh, to reserve it back in September of 2020. So I've been on the list for quite a while, and um, after three years of delays, I'm just I just don't have any more patience left in me, you know. And so I went ahead and I got the newest Z06 I could get, which is this one here. This is actually a 2015. Uh, it's a 2015 Corvette Z06. It's mostly stock. It's got some bolt-ons, uh, intake and exhaust. We're going to change the headers and X-pipe. That's probably going to be one of the first projects that we do. Uh, the reason that I chose this car, um, it had everything I wanted pretty much fully loaded. It does not have the Z07 package. I was really just worried about having any issues with the brakes or brake pads or calipers. Uh, the repair cost is just insane. Uh, you could land anywhere from five to fifteen thousand dollars for a brake job if you needed new rotors. So, I mean, these brakes they have plenty of stopping power for the street. I don't plan on tracking the car. Um, the probably the most strain the car would ever get put under is some roll racing. That's about all I like to do. It is a manual. It's a seven-speed manual transmission. Twenty-three thousand mile three LZ car. It's got the competition seats black interior I, I, I like the red interior but not on a red car it's just a little too much got the carbon fiber interior package the suede package like I said you can see here the comp seats really nice uh, carbon fiber steering wheel dash kit carbon fiber side skirts it's got the stage 2 aero package as you can see here I like the look of the stage 3 aero package it's just um, it, it really does um, hinder your your um, your speed in the mid and top end. It does create a lot of drag force. Um, so we got the stage two front front bumper, front splitter. Um, I kind of like the winglets, but again, drag. Um, I think the car looks good the way it is. Uh, the only the only options we don't have, like I said, uh, no carbon ceramic brakes, which to me is a plus. No stage three aero, which we have reasons for that. We could just add the wicker bill and the winglets and, and be done with it. I like the way the car looks. I, I like the the fact that it, it, it does help you in the mid top end, which is where I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, roll racing and stuff. Uh, we can go ahead and pop the engine and take a look under the hood the car only has 23,000 miles that was another reason I got it we got a really good deal I'm not a huge fan of red Corvettes um, I'm pushing 40 and uh, <laughs> it just screams midlife crisis right um, so here you can see it's just little engine uh, enclosed air intake system and then it has a Flowmaster exhaust. We're going to do the, uh, the headers and the, uh, the X pipe, open it up a little bit, make it sound a little better. Uh, but here it is. She's a beauty, man. I just took her out for a, a ride around and really put her to the test and I was, I was really impressed, really impressed. So it's all there. She's a beauty. And we're, you know, just going to keep pushing on, pushing forward with the channel. Uh, I, I tried to do, you know, everything I could to get the C8 Z06. And I did not, I did not forfeit my allocation. I haven't given up the allocation. So, you know, whenever they do call me, that's fine. We'll either trade this in or, or sell this for a good little bit honestly i don't i don't want to go into details on the price but the price we got this car for i could not find a similar car with a rebuilt title for this price so the the i mean i i really can't believe the deal we got on this car i i mean i had to jump on it 
So here it is. And she's a beauty, man. I'm I'm really happy with her. Like I said, I, I'm not a huge fan of red, especially on Corvettes. Um, but then again, I mean, it looks amazing. The car, it is a proper sports car. This is a proper sports car. I would I would even venture to say this is a proper um, exotic car, supercar. The speed and refinement is just unbelievable. I dare say I felt more secure and like the car was more refined than when we were driving the Lamborghini. And that's saying a lot. Um, I know it, it's it's definitely a step down from a Lamborghini, but um, power-wise, it's a step up. Uh, refinement, I'd, I'd say it's a step up. Um, it's hard to really compare this car to that Lamborghini. You know, like it's a, you know, it's ten years older than this car is. Um, but you know, we've got the newest Z06 that we can get, and um, we're gonna enjoy it and have some fun with the channel and have some fun with the car. I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna set the camera down and and uh, start her up and. Actually, I'll, I'll bring the camera in with me. Let's see. So, let me know what, what y'all think and how we did. The car is on a slight incline in the driveway, so it looks higher than it really is, but the car is actually super low. It's, it's I don't know, I guess it could use the carbon fiber mirrors, and I do like the, when, when people do the, the black patch on the hood. I would like to do that, but probably carbon fiber, but maybe just carbon flash. I don't know. I like the mix of carbon fiber and carbon flash throughout the car. Um, I'm, I'm considering, I kind of want to do black on the mirrors, maybe black the vents or carbon fiber the vents, carbon fiber that vent too. Just basically black it out. Um, short shifter kit and then the other bolt-ons. And then we'll start talking about a cam and some flex fuel and then a retune. If we go cam flex fuel, we could be look, we'll be looking at about eight nine hundred horsepower. But the way we're sitting right now with the bolt ons and everything, I'll be happy I'll be happy to get to around seven fifty uh, seven fifty eight hundred. But I'm just really 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 stoked with this car. We did it, guys. We got there. I looked for a long time, um, pretty much ever since. It was before they announced that they weren't going to be giving everyone a C8 Z06. I just, it was right when the allocation uh, constraints started with the carbon fiber and everything. Um, and then I have, I have a, a, a feeling that with so much limiting factors on the C8 Z06, that the price of the C7 Z cars are going to continue to skyrocket. We've already seen it in the Z06. But especially in the ZR1, you used to be able to acquire ZR1 for just over 100. You could maybe like 120, 140, 150 for the super nice 2019. But now you're talking a quarter of a million dollars for a ZR1. And the Z06s, they've jumped incredibly as well, not just because of the used car prices. Like we've started to see the used car bubble start to pop and car prices and even housing prices are starting to come back down. But on the Z cars, they've steadily gone back up. It's like even if you could get the order in for the C8 Z06 this year, if you wanted to, like you wanted to, you wouldn't be able to get all of the features that you want. So the way that I was thinking like I really wanted the aero package for the C8 Z06 and I guess yeah you could just buy something aftermarket of course quickly there will be aftermarket parts available but I just I wanted to get the car optioned with GM parts and I don't know I mean it's a really expensive car I don't want to just buy a hundred thousand dollar car and start drilling parts into it it just doesn't feel good so um, I guess you could say we settled, <laughs> but if this is settling, like, I'm all for it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's the last of the true Corvettes. It's the last of the front engine, manual transmission. I mean, 
you can't go wrong and the the song was never little white corvette little black little yellow it was little red corvette and so we had to go and do it now i want to i want to give a special thanks to my dad um Recently, he passed away, and it's allowed me to do a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have been able to do um, at this point in my life. Not just buy a car, but make investments that I wanted to make and start businesses that I wanted to start. And everything I do, I kind of, I have to thank my father and all the work he put in and the life he lived and the sacrifices he made. Um, so this is for you, Dad. Thanks a lot for everything. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, I can't even look at this car without thinking about my dad or my stepdad. Um, lost them both recently, so. I mean, this car is just otherworldly, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, as... As in the same as the silver Corvette, we had plenty of videos driving and racing, so I'm sure we'll get plenty of videos of this thing driving and racing and and everything else, but I mean the car, it, it's like a, it's just such good condition, it's leather wrapped everything, 3LZ, she's just, just too much, like driving this car is sensory and emotion overload um i haven't had a chance to really clean up the inside yet but i mean you can just tell there's <laughs> there's no defects really to find i um the whole car is ppf so it's all got the paint protection film there's one small little imperfection right here which i'm going to get that taken care of but i think tonight i'll probably order the the headers and the X pipe and and we'll get started on some modification videos I have another video of whenever I took the car was dropped off yesterday so I'll probably do something to edit that into this video and this asshole mowing his yard he just started right in the middle of the video so I'm gonna wrap it up and I hope you guys like the car and um, I hope you guys stay tuned so we'll try to take this car and ride its coattails into a uh, C8Z06. So hopefully everything goes well and we can get us a C8Z06 eventually. But until then, we will enjoy this girl. Alright, thanks again.